Hey there and welcome to the first part of the two-part video series where I'll build a very custom squeeze page. You can download all the files for free at the link listed in the description. I'm Heidi from Design for Founders. Let's get started. In this first video, I'll cover designing the page with Sketch App, and in the next video, we'll build it using HTML and CSS. Both parts of this tutorial are kept pretty basic so that you can get to understand the process better. Squeeze pages normally have the purpose of squeezing an email address out of the visitor. Because of this, squeeze pages must be left pretty stripped down and focused. Almost always you'll see a freebie being offered for exchange for the email. This freebie is usually called the lead. To follow along, you'll need software called Sketch App. It's a Mac-only app for web and interface design. It has a 30-day trial that you can download and try out. If you know the basics of Photoshop, you should also be able to follow along as tools and keyboard shortcuts are quite similar. You'll also need to write the headline and subheadline and any other copy you want to include. The last thing you should have prepared is the image of your lead. You can create this within minutes in Adobe Photoshop using free mockup files. I'll drop a few links in the description. First, open up Sketch App. As you can see, it has already created a new document for us. We'll create an artboard of 1440 by 10, 24 pixels, and we can just name it squeeze page. Then I'll go under view layout settings and input these settings. Don't forget to click center after making any changes and then submit the info. This will create a nice grid on which we can base our design. In case you're using Photoshop, check the description below this video to download the free guide guide tool which will let you do the same. I'll draw a six columns wide rounded corner rectangle into which I'll place the copy and form. With the rectangle still selected I'll turn off this border and add some shadow to the box. I used Pick Jumbo to find the background photo for this design. Check the description for a link to an epic list of 50 plus sites with free stock photos. Now I'll move this layer to the bottom. If you plan on doing any banner advertising for this page, you should use the same image in banners as well to connect it visually. This normally affects conversions and in a good way. I'll place this photo as a background and add some blur to it. Then I'll go ahead and lock the layer. I'll paste this image in of my free ebook. It's important to show visitors what they're getting and the book is the best representation of what I'm offering. Hitting T on keyboard will bring up text tool. I'll use it to paste in the headline and the rest of the text. You'll need to pick web safe fonts that are available for embedding. I went ahead and browsed the Google font directory and picked Roboto Black and Light Italic. It's a good idea to make the headline extremely heavy in contrast to subheadline and the rest of the text. I'll put text in the middle of the box, fix the line height and size a bit and align them to center. Next, I'll add a rectangle with gray stroke for email input and type in the placeholder text. In order to increase conversions of forms, it's always a good idea to limit the number of fields. In this case, I'll only ask for email. Now I'll create a nice hard to miss button. I'll draw a rounded corner rectangle and then apply a gradient fill with a nice orange transition.
To create a 3D effect, they'll also add some shadow without blur. I'll also slightly adjust spacing on this design and add the text to the button and we're ready to code! The beauty of working in SketchUp, as we'll see in the next video, is that all these settings are directly translatable to CSS. See you there! To download files from this tutorial, click the link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more tips on effective startup design, visit designforfounders.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you liked this video.